Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to multiply a fraction. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this, well, fraction, if you will, and we need to multiply it. Negative 12 over 5 times the negative 20x. Let's make this a little easier for us. Let's rewrite this. Negative 12 over 5 times, we can still put it in parentheses here, negative 20 over x over 1. And this sometimes helps us break this down to really see what's going on, especially when we're not really given this as a fraction. We can write it as a fraction. Why not? Well, let's break down what negative 12 fifths is. We have a negative out front here, and 12 is a 3 times a 4, or a, well, 2 times 3 times 4, right? The prime factorization of it. And we have 5 down here. What about the prime factorization of a negative 20? Well, negative 20 is a 4 times 5, which is 2 times 2 times 5, right? 2 times 2 times 5, and then we have times the x all over that one. Now you're not going to do this prime factorization every single time, but it's good to see this broken down. Now when we multiply these fractions, we can we'll simplify with a 5 here and a 5 in the denominator and 5 in the numerator. Cross them out right here, and what are we left with? Well, a negative 2 times 3 times 4, so 2 times 3 times 4, and the numerator times, we multiply across the numerator here, 2 times 2 times, well, x, all over, well, this 5 was canceled out, so we just have a 1 times a 1, which is 1. Well, this simplifies to be pretty simply here. Well, negative, or 2 times 3 times 4, we know is 12 from 4, times, well, 2 is 24, times 2 is 48. So we have a negative 48, and then just the x here. When we divide by 1, we don't really need that anymore, and there we have it. We've gone through a simple example, and we see an answer here of negative 48x. I hope you learned how to multiply a fraction in a simple way. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.